things that made you who you were, which were your size and your race and your personality, which totally defined who you were and what you bought to the show, is totally a disadvantage in this business now. And we used to depend so much on all of these girls to bring a personality address and we would tell them, be yourself, feel sexy, have fun, get into the show, be a character. And now that's just turned into be a boy, don't move your hips, don't make eye contact, don't move your arms, show no femininity, because if you do that, you will not work with me again. And I just feel it's ironic now, because this business for me that was built on the celebration of the beauty and diversity of women has totally been hijacked by a small group of stylists and casting directors and photographers who not only seem to dislike women, but go out of their way every day to prove it on a daily basis. This awareness about diversity in casting has sort of entered the fore, particularly in the past couple of years in regard to social justice and identity politics. There's been this subdivision of fashion bookings that has emerged, which almost fetishizes diversity, pursues diversity as an end. It's not like you can just be a model. It's like you have to be a trans model or a black model or a Latina model. And you know, they kind of bring you in, and it's like diversity day. For me, for 30 years in the industry to work, that's a privilege to work with someone so impassioned that, that they're brought to tears. Um, my job, however, is to fight against it. So, I mean, that's why, um, you know, models have managers, and we're, we're there to fight the battles of um, what needs to be done and addressed. I remember when I started, and I would be in a fashion show, I was the only non-white. And I would look at the board and I would, what, it was like, I'm happy that I'm here because I'm very grateful. Like you said, we're at the mercy of others to book a job. So I am very grateful for that opportunity. But then at the same time, I'm like, damn. I went to the casting. I saw a lot of beautiful women that fit a di different description. Why are they not here? Why are they not being represented? They are your consumer, so why not paint that beautiful picture? And I feel like the designers is not only about doing a beautiful collection, it's about putting a positive message and making that social you know, responsibility your effort. I'm sure you have a lot on your plate, but there's so much you can do and such a huge impact with something so simple, being more mindful and being more aware of what's happening in your house. And when brands cast and book a girl for, I've always had a struggle trying to get a hair campaign. It's mind boggling. I've been on options and they dropped me the last minute and the excuse was we were afraid to try something new. And by new, they meant we've never shot a black girl.